So currently on my scanner I'm getting two codes, a cylinder 1 misfire and a cylinder 7 misfire. So as you guys saw earlier, I have a cylinder 1 and a cylinder 7 misfire. Cylinder 1 is right here. I've already troubleshooted the issue. It was the ignition coil because before I was having a misfire on cylinder 2 and now I'm having it on 1. I'd swapped the coil pack. So that means my coil pack is bad. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys on how easily you can change a coil pack on your M113 engine. Let's get started. I'm underneath my hood and I'm going to remove these plastic covers as well as these air ducts to gain access to my ignition coils. Here's my ignition coils. This is the M113 engine and there are eight ignition coils. And the firing order is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to be replacing cylinder one as well as cylinder seven with these new ignition coils. All you're going to be needing is a ratchet with a T30 Torx bit. Once it's free, it's going to pull out and then you're going to remove the wiring connector on top. And be very careful when you're removing these plugs. They get very brittle with the heat and over the years and as you guys are seeing mine, it's almost completely destroyed. The plug itself is fine, but the outside housing is a little cracked up. And then on the bottom, you're going to be removing these two plugs. They're going to pull straight out. You just give it a steady pull and they come right out. And here's the one screw that's going to come out from the ignition coil. And here is your coil pack. And I'm going to be replacing it with my replacement part. One's going to connect to the back, one to the front. You got to put them in the correct place. The shorter plug is going to go on the back and the longer one is going to go on the front. Plug it in, make sure it fully seats in. And do the same with this one. And then plug in the connector. And then you're going to seat it correctly and reinstall your torque screw. And there it is, my new ignition coil is installed on cylinder one. And now I'm going to do the same thing on cylinder seven. And now all that's left to do is reinstall the engine cover, the plastics, and the air ducts. I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy DIY fix for your Mercedes Benz. And if you guys want to see more videos just like this, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys soon with another video. Thank you.